if we're gonna look on the market right now, every Android phone supports fast chargings like 30 watts, 40 watts, 50 watts, and even 100 watts of charging. But on the other hand, iPhone just supports somewhat 18 watts to 22 watts. So that is why some people are asking, why is Apple doing that? Why are they falling short for this kind of competition? And here I'm going to tell you why. And the first one is for the battery health. iPhone users tend to keep their phones longer than Android phones as some iPhone users can last up to 5 years, 6 years, or even 7 years. And they're thinking that they don't need to upgrade their phones because iPhones can keep their smoothness for a long period of time. But even though iPhone can maintain their speed, the battery cannot. And battery will degrade over time, especially if you're using a fast charger. So that is why maybe Apple is not giving iPhones a faster charging speeds because the more the battery degrades, the more chance that a person will buy another phone. And there's a chance that that person will buy an Android phone. That's why if you wanna save more money that you don't have to buy a new phone every year or as often as others, you can use a small charging brick that comes with the box of old iPhones to prevent your iPhone from degrading fast. But if you wanna live your life, you can still use a faster charging that you can buy on Apple or some other third-party sellers, but you will have to live the consequences of degrading your battery faster in the future. And the second one of why Apple is not keeping up with the competition of charging speeds and that is because of the battery size of iPhones. iPhone battery sizes are kind of small compared to today's standards like Android phones have this 4000 mAh capacity, 5000 and even 6000 on some phones while Apple has that 3000 mAh battery or some with 2900. And I'm not saying that iPhone battery sucks because even though they have a smaller capacity of physical battery, because Apple owns the software and the hardware, they can optimize the whole experience making apps less intensive unlike on the Android side because app developers need to accommodate every Android phone out there while with iOS, there's just one phone that is having an iOS operating system and that is iPhones. So iPhone batteries are small but even though they're small they can last just like any under Android phones right now. But the problem here is a small battery is still a small battery. So that is why for example if you're gonna use a 30 watt adapter to charge an Android phone it will charge that Android phone fast. But if you're gonna use that 30 watt adapter given that let's just say Apple allows it to charge with 30 watts, it will charge even faster compared to the Android phone because iPhone batteries have smaller capacity. That is why maybe Apple is not including a faster charging speed for iPhones, not because they don't want to, but because they don't have to. It can somehow be unnecessary for them. So that's it. Do you want faster charging speeds on iPhones or not? Like this video if you like it, sub if you haven't already, and see you all next week. Have a great day.